sign of the country from uh, Biggin Hill to Aberdeen in a Technum P2012 and I thought I'd show you the sunset. We're above the clouds, it's not a very nice day below the clouds but uh, above the clouds is absolutely beautiful. Uh, myself and Vito, uh, Vito is over there somewhere in another Technum P2012 and we're delivering both of the aircraft to uh, Boston from Bologna. So yeah, we're sort of just uh, heading up the spine of the country. Uh, Aberdeen is our final stop for the for the day. So we've gone Bologna, Big Inn, then Big Inn up to um, Aberdeen. And tomorrow we're head on over to Iceland uh, where we'll wait it out until Monday for us to cross to Greenland and Canada. But yeah, so I thought I'd uh, take the opportunity to show you this beautiful sunset and uh, see what we're enjoying up here. Here we are up at flight level 120 now and uh, we've uh, left Scotland behind and Aberdeen and uh, heading out towards Iceland and to Reykjavik, heading up towards the Faroe Islands and then going to uh, do a left turn uh, a little bit more westbound towards the coast of Iceland. We're at flight level 120, Vito is about 25 miles or so ahead of us, we both have our oceanic clearance from uh, Iceland and uh, ready to sort of uh, leave the UK airspace behind us and go on to the Icelandic airspace. And uh, the weather's great at the moment. We've got a little bit of a tailwind. We've got about 14 knots of tailwind, which is really, really useful for these oceanic crossings. And uh, weather's not too bad at the moment, but a little bit later on, it does look like we're going to get a little bit of um, icing conditions, maybe up at flight level 120 as per the uh, the weather that we were looking at on the internet earlier on so if that happens we're going to assess see how we get along we might have to descend now maybe to um, six flight level six zero or six thousand feet just to get uh, below the freezing level but we're going to assess that as we get a little bit further on that'll be for about the last hour of our flight so if needs be we can always descend down and the weather's not too bad in Reykjavik so therefore we can always descend down and route along the coastline uh, southern coast of Iceland and then go off into Reykjavik afterwards so everything's great at the moment and uh, we're at flight level 120 and uh, enjoying uh, quite a smooth ride at the moment Ocean. Beautiful weather. That's what you can see there. So beautiful weather. There's uh, myself and Vito. So Vito's in another Technum P2012. I'll just zoom that in a little bit. There he is, uh, just ahead of me. And uh, we're heading out to Narsaswak on this one first on this first leg today. But I just thought I'd take a little bit of time to show you a little bit about this aircraft. So it's uh, a Technum P2012. So it's a twin engine aircraft you can see out there we've got a, a Lycoming IO540 which uh, is 375 horsepower per side and the aircraft has an electronic engine control system because it's FADEC so we have no mixture levers or anything like that down here so it's just a throttle and a prop lever and the electronic engine control system basically monitors and manages everything as far as the uh, engine fuel is concerned. Um, all we have to do is just adjust our prop levers and uh, and uh, throttle levers to give ourselves the right 
fuel flow or percentage power or manifold pressure, however we'd like to operate it. And at the top here, we can see that we've got our fuel taps, so we can uh, tell the engine to use the fuel from either fuel tank. And up here we've got our fuel pumps, so we can switch those on and off, and the ignition and the starter buttons there. So very, very easy to start these engines. You just basically um, put the fuel pump on just to prime it a little bit, then click on the ignition and push the button and the engines will burst into life with the throttles in the idle position. So we're travelling across the Atlantic, so it's very, very important that we have a life raft, so a good a life raft in there. So myself, so I just uh, turn this around, you can see I'm wearing a, a full immersion suit as well. And with the life raft and the immersion suit in the back, we have a 600 litre ferry tank, so it's about a 160 gallon ferry tank on the aircraft as well. Uh, if we didn't have this, we'd have a, a little bit of a struggle getting to the uh, final destination. This aircraft actually is going to be a little mini airliner, so for Cape Air. So we've got two seats up front, we've got the seat covers on here at the moment, but normally there's nine seats in the back. So it's an 11 seater, and this aircraft will be spending its time over in Boston um, doing uh, sort of little short hops around the local area. So 600 litre ferry tank, but some um, other very, very important things that we're going to have here is the food bag. So the food bag, so you know, we've got some long legs, four or five hour legs. So we've got a nice fuel bag, um, food bag, but more importantly, look at this wireless charging for my iPhone. So that's really, really cool. So I can pop my iPhone in there and uh, charge away. So fantastic. So heading out across the Atlantic, beautiful day, lovely day in Narsasawak when we arrived there as well. So, uh, so she gets some good shots uh, of Narsasawak. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you a few little things about the uh, Technum P2012 and uh, usual things with the Garmin 1000 suite and the, the autopilot. Yeah, nice. So, hope you're enjoying your day, and uh, I'm going to carry on enjoying mine.